Hey coaches, it's Jenny here. It is Thursday afternoon. I'm just sitting here in my kitchen. It's bright and sunny in here and I've got my little space heater and fireplace going to keep me warm. So um, it seems I'm checking in with you a lot more via video. I hope this works for you. I hope this is um, a little bit more exciting than just long text posts in our group page. But just wanted to check in with you today to talk about something that has been on my mind for a while, which is making sure that I cover the three um, vital behaviors with each of my new coaches. So I know there are some new coaches on our team. I just want to make sure that I reiterate the importance of those three vital behaviors with them as well as the veteran coaches who've been doing this a while. So I think it's always a good reminder. So um, <clears throat> the three vital behaviors as they're called, or in other words, the three basic things that should be incorporated into your every single day as a Beachbody coach are number one, be proof the products work. Number two, personal development. Number three, invite, invite, invite. So I'm going to go through those each again in a little more detail. So number one, be proof the products work. Hopefully all of you are on Shakeology Home Direct. You most likely aren't in this group page unless you are. So Shakeology Home Direct is a no-brainer. We must be on Shakeology. We must be drinking the product if we're really going to tell somebody else that they should be drinking the product. Um, same thing goes for our fitness programs. Um, my husband, as you guys might know, is um, a runner and for the first like two years of our business he was like I'm not doing P90X, I'm not doing Insanity, I'm not doing any of that, I need to run, I'm a runner, that's what I do, I love running and I finally talked him into doing Insanity with me and over the course of the 60 days that he was doing Insanity his business lit up with people asking him about how it was affecting his running um, and it actually was affecting it in a good way. He was able to actually pick up where he left off with his running training and actually felt a lot better. So um, by him becoming proof that the products work and by him taking on a fitness program, um, he became uber successful uh, during that time frame because people were really trusting him with, with what he was doing. So being proof the products work is important. And obviously talking about those products that we are um, incorporating into our life is super important. Number two is our personal development. Um, I just posted in here yesterday asking what your personal development was. Uh, we should all be reading at least 10 or 15 minutes a day of our personal development books, whether that's The Slight Edge, The Compound Effect, The Magic of Thinking Big. I think I've supplied you guys with some uh, various types of books. Whatever your cup of tea is in that area, I hope you're devoting 10 to 15 minutes a day to that. And some of us who maybe don't like to read, for me, I can't read every single day. So when I walk my dog every day, I actually um, pull up a podcast on my phone. I've listened to two today because they're kind of addicting. Um, so, yeah, finding a podcast that you like is also a great way of, of achieving your personal development each day. Um, hang on a second. I think I might have lost you. Hopefully I didn't lose you. Anyway. And uh, last but not least, the, uh, the third component is what I really wanted to touch on today, which is the invite, invite, invite. So often um, coaches say, well, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing and I'm not growing my business. Well, most likely you're doing number one and number two really well. You're reading your personal development and you're drinking your Shakeology and doing your exercise program and posting on Facebook. People think that if they do those things that they're going to be successful, but really there's a little bit of work ethic and work effort that has to go into the business. We have to be inviting people, inviting people to our challenges, inviting people to our team. We need to be constantly inviting people. Um, I want to make sure that we go into more detail on that in the next few days, and I want to make, make sure that I'm answering your questions when it comes to inviting. But I just want you to know for today that those are the three vital behaviors that we should be doing every single day. And you can't leave that inviting piece out. You can't kind of let off your game in hopes that people are going to reach out to you uh, with their interest. Because I'll, you know, to be completely honest with you, I probably get one person a month that reaches out to me. Most of the time I'm reaching out to other people. So just some food for thought today. would love to hear your thoughts. And if you have any questions specifically on inviting to your challenge group or inviting to your team, to our team, please feel free to ask. Have a great one.